we're back visiting the Squarcus agrifolia in the California foothills, inland valleys. It's been in the ground 2005, it's a 24 inch box. Unlike the prediction that oaks grow slowly, this oak has grown very, very well and very fast. We have come back to re-scaffold the tree to remove defects. We have a large lateral limb that has developed and is arching toward the light over the house. And we don't want to wait and let this limb get larger to be a much more significant excision from the tree. So we're going to remove it today to train and direct and scaffold the tree to fit on its urban setting. We observed the defect a year ago when we worked on the tree then, but we wanted to retain the limb for another year to help it develop trunk girth and canopy fullness, use the foliage of this branch to power the tree up, to pump the tree up, to get it to gain strength, lay down new tissue, expand in girth, and really get good anchorage on site. It has now done that. The tree is strong on site. It has grown very fast. We've retained this defect branch, but now finally we want to take it. We don't want to let it become large and more important to the tree's final form. So we're going to finally take it out. We've dismantled all the small wood off this main defect, so now we're going to take it back to the main stem. We have new laterals above it, which will take over the job of that former leader. Our balance is still going to be pretty good. So now we're going to take out the remainder of our adventitious defect coming out of the sunny side of the trunk. This is a chainsaw cut. This is more like six inches in diameter. We hate to remove all this healthy wood, but at the same time, we don't want to allow this defect to continue. We've preserved the branch collar all the way around. Of course, this isn't the flush cut. The flush cut would have been way back in here. So we've left a, a good collar. It's a large cut, but it was necessary. We want this tree to have the right kind of a future. And this defect in form was beginning to give the tree some structural issues. You can see the tendency of a co-dominant lead occurring here where this stem is almost as large as the main stem and we don't want to develop a co-dominant lead in the tree at this elevation. So it became a good choice to excise this now and not let this become any larger and a much larger wound for the tree to heal and cope with. We're going to treat our end grain, of course, with our orange rind oil beeswax end grain wound dressing. Each time we come back on this tree, we're probably going to go ahead and retreat this wound. The tree has been left full and complex, compact and complex, letting it have the shrub form, which has accelerated development. So this is the right way to grow the oak. Let them have their youth, let them have their juvenile period, and you'll find they'll perform better. We have very good trunk taper already evident and a very large excision, but this is well within the tree's capability of healing. Our wound is just a little over five inches in diameter. So that's a pretty good sized excision, but this is, again, as well within the tree's capacity to heal. We've left a generous branch collar all the way around. We cut at our smallest theoretical diameter, squared the stem, and we have good healing potential for an excision like this. We have accomplished the rescaffolding pruning of this young oak. Five tarp loads of material has been taken off the tree and our fairly large co-dominant leader that was beginning to form, about five and a half inch diameter dog leg structure paralleling the main stem. The balance has been maintained. We were worried that taking this large lateral off might throw a little imbalance into the tree's form, but it has not. There's enough structure, there's enough adventitious shoots and complexity of form that we have not imbalanced the tree. We've lifted the fringe and brought the energy up in the tree. We've created a little bit more access all the way around the tree, including the sidewalk and the driveway. And so we feel this is a good management of the tree at this stage in its development and we're very pleased with the performance and the look of the tree.